Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to look at how to count 10 more or 10 less uh, than a number less than 100. So I've got my 100 square here and let's just start off by counting in 10. So I'm going to get my counter and I would go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Because each one of these rows is 10. That is one lot of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Anywhere. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 of these squares. So every time I count down, I'm counting one lot of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40. And what we're going to do in this uh, lesson is just look at how we can choose any number at all and do 10 more uh, or 10 less. So let's just flick my counter, see where it lands. Landed here, 46. Now I'm going to write that down, 46. So if I want 46 and I want to add 10, so that's 10 more. Obviously, I could just count it. I could count 10 on from 46 and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to give me 56. So I ended up here. Well, look where that is. It's just below where I put my counter. So what I can do instead of counting on 10 is just move my counter down one on the 100 square to get from 46 to 56. So I had 46. I added 10 to give me 56. And I'm going to put a ring around that there. Look, that was where I started, 46. And I counted on 10, but I went to 56. Because to make 10 more on 100 square, all I need to do is move my counter down one. Let's try that again. So again, let's flick my counter somewhere. So here it gets to, I'll close my eyes and, oh, that's a bit too close, I'll try again. Oh, there we go, look, so that is 23. Let me get a different color. So I'm going to put 23 around it and I'm going to write 23 add 10 and you tell me now of course I could count along 10 or I could just move down move down here onto the next row and I go from 23 to 33 because 33 is 10 more than 23. Now we can do this also anyway to go back 10 less than 23. I could count backwards 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or I could just move up a row. So let's try that. Let me put my counter or oh, let's move it here to 38. Get a different colour again. I've got 38 and this time I'm going to go 10 less. I'm going to take away 10. So I can count backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or I can just move up. Just go upwards on the 100 square to give me 28. Let's do one more. There we go. I've got to 72. Let's make that a blue one. So put a circle around 72 and go 72, take away 10. Well, you can tell me I just need to go up one. Put a ring around that and I get a 62. So the 100 square is really useful for doing 10 more or 10 less. And I could start on any number and count up in tens. So let's again throw my coin. Oh, hasn't gone anywhere where I wanted it to. Still hasn't. Doesn't want to do it. Let's put it here on, I don't know, let's go for 14. So to count up in tens from 14 would be 14, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84. Now, if I go back and have a quick look at this, it's quite interesting to look at the numbers because here I've got 46 add 10. Now what I'm doing here is this column, here's the units column. So I had six units, 
but I'm not adding any units here because there's zero units here. So that's why that six stays the same. But here I had four tens and I'm adding one ten. And so I must have five tens. And that's sometimes a bit easier to see if we write them on top of each other. So if I do 46, add 10. Here I've got six units, add no units. So I must still have six units. And here I've got four tens and one ten. So I must have five tens. If you're not sure what I'm talking about with this units and tens, do have a look at one of the videos I've done on place value. And let's look at this taking away one as well. And to see what happens, now here I had 38, and I took away 10, but I didn't take away any units, so that eight must stay the same, which it does. But here I had three tens, take away one 10, gives me two tens, and if I write that down, like this, 38 take away 10. And you can see, eight units take away no units will give me eight units. Three tens take away one 10 will give me two tens. So different ways of doing the same thing. It's quite fun to get your hundred square and just always practice counting up and down in ten. So let's finish off with, I put my counter here at 79, I can count down in 10, 79, 69, 59, 49, 39, 29, 19 and nine. Put it over here somewhere, let's go for 24, count up in 10s, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94. Get your 100 square out, get yourself a counter and practice going 10 more or 10 less. It's always useful to write down what you're doing in what we call this is a number sentence and practice drawing your numbers. And as always, good luck.